Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is July 18th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to go into a subject that is a concern with relationship to climate change, and it's been a concern for some time. Africa is one of the more rapidly warming regions of the world as a result of human-caused climate change. And Africa is one of the regions where we expect to see some of the most extreme surface temp temperature impacts and potentially a, a reduction in human habitability by or before the middle 21st century. And, and we are already seeing impacts related to human-caused climate change in Africa. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that later. But one of the main concerns is that under human force global warming, the Sahara Desert would expand both south and north. And, and this is as a result of a climate change influence that is predicted to in, in, increase dry days in the Sahel region of Africa and increase heat waves in that region as well. Now, Africa is trying to combat this by creating a green zone and and by planting trees and and vegetation to try and belt in the, the Sahara Desert. But warming temperatures have have a stunning effect and 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 threaten these mitigation practices. Looking northward, European climate models also find that dry days and extreme temperatures expand across the Mediterranean and into southern Europe such that you get a Sahara type climate in parts of southern Europe as a result of human forced climate change. Now the reason why I'm providing this context is that there is a recent report out of Yale Climate Connections that has shown that during recent years the Sahara Desert has been recorded to have expanded by 10%. And it's a, it's a very significant increase in a region of the world whose land coverage is roughly equal to the United States of America's lower 48 states. And I suggest that you, you read the, the study. It, I'm gonna just bring a, a quote from it and to give you some context. Some areas in the Sahara, Sahara that were once semi-arid grassland have now become desert. And according to the lead study author, the desert has expanded southward during summer by about 10%. So, so it's a fairly significant increase in the desert expanse over the last 93 years that have been analyzed. So the analysis looked at the past 93 years, and the past 93 years have included a period of global climate change in which the earth system itself has warmed by about one degree celsius one to 1.2 degrees celsius above 1880s levels and this warming has driven a an approximate 10 percent increase in the sahara desert size over this period now projected warming over the course of this century is expected to be between 0.5 and up to 4.5 degrees Celsius, depending on the path of fossil fuel burning that is pursued. And, and the low, both the low and the high range are the least likely, so it's more likely that we'll hit the middle range. And of course, how intense that range becomes is directly dependent upon how much fossil fuels we continue to burn and how much carbon we continue to emit in the, Earth, in the Earth's atmosphere and how readily we, we respond to climate change in the form of reducing those emissions. So just a snapshot, I encourage you to read this Yale Climate Connections article and the related study and learn more about how the Sahara Desert is expanding and, and to also dig into the science to see what we're looking at in the future 
if we don't really seriously prevent carbon emissions in, in the short, medium, and long term. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.